Hey Luke here with CaptainCarb.com and we're going to do something a little unusual today. The whole family is coming fishing with me. We got Tommy, Nathan, of course Mommy, <laughs> and uh, we're going to go to a lake that I don't really know. So I've got catfish gear, I've got bass gear, I've got walleye and crappie stuff. I'm, I'm throwing all of everything at it. Plus we're going to go get duck donuts and we're going to get fat on really awesome food. Nathan, you ready to go fishing on the boat? Uh-huh. You excited to go fishing? Uh-huh. Tommy, you ready to go fishing? Yeah! <laughs> Mommy, you excited? Let's do this. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Buddy, come on. Let's go get some let's go get some donuts. Alright. Here, you? follow daddy. Ah, run super fast! Oh, look at that line. We get uh, the bacon and maple for two of them. Two maple bacon? Maybe donuts for us? Tommy, you having fun? Yeah. Look at that, Tommy. See, he's put the maple on there. Look at that, they're putting bacon on it. Looks good? Yeah. You yeah. going fishing now? Yeah, no. Mama, I want to eat them! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> funny, funny fish, funny fish, funny fishy. Okay, now stay on the back. Go back and sit in the seat. All righty, Nathan. I can watch the phone. Okay, watch out, buddy. Yeah, it is kind of windy. That's all right. So I'm on a lake in Virginia that I really don't know well at all, and. This is not a traditional carp lake or a catfish lake. This is a lake that's well known for panfish, has some walleye, a few flatheads, it's got snakeheads, um, but the panfish are what people really like. There's some really big uh, red ear, some really big sunfish and crappie. So at any rate, I'm, I'm really kind of searching blind here. But let me tell you a little bit about this lake. It's uh, about a 10 acre lake and it's two small lakes that are connected uh, by kind of a little waste. So it's shaped kind of like a peanut. And uh, it's February, middle of February, and it's warm. The air temperature is supposed to get up to about 70 degrees, a little less than 70 degrees. Um, right now it's in the low 60s and it's about 11 a.m. It's a beautiful sunny day, middle of February. So, you know, just freakishly warm, fabulous weather. There's a lot of unknowns in this lake. I'm not even sure what species I'm going to be fishing for yet. I brought some pan fishing gear, some channel cat gear, uh, some stuff for bass and snakeheads, a little bit of everything, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to catch. So right now my strategy is this. This is how I'm attacking the lake, okay? It's a reservoir. There's a dam, right? So the original river channel is always a good spot to hit, right along the banks of the, the original, original channel where it goes from like, 10, 12 feet down to 20 feet. Um, those areas are, are traditionally pretty good. It's really unusually warm and sunny. So I'm hitting the shallows a bit too. I'm checking those out, looking for brush piles um, in about 10 to 15 feet of water. Uh, because that shallow water is gonna be affected more by this good warm weather than the deep water will. So the fish who uh, wanna warm up are gonna come to the shallow water. So you can see here that it's about 45 degrees and the air temperature is in the low 60s, so yeah, shallow water might be good. Yeah, there's some, man, some funky stuff right there. Might go check that out. But I've got to find the brush piles before I can fish them. Look at that, look at that. Oh, look at that, that is a big pile of fish right there. Oh kid, I just marked that on my GPS. We're gonna hit that. 
Now, if I was smart, I'd have a marker buoy and I'd throw it on top of that pile of uh, fish and then I'd be able to hit it easy. But unfortunately, I didn't bring that. So I might end up having to make one out of a water bottle or something. All right, so I hit that brush pile a couple times and nothing. I didn't feel diddly squat, not even a nibble. So maybe I, I, maybe it's just a pile of shad or something. I don't know, but uh, it, uh, um, we'll keep going. I really want to hit this this narrow neck between the two bodies of the lake. Yeah, go ahead. You can steer the boat, man. Whoa, whoa we're turning all over the place. Whoa, good job probably bait fish. It was a really small signal, so those are probably fish only a couple inches long. There it is right there. You see right there some, some fish. So here you can see the kind of the neck between the two legs. And uh, these choke points are usually pretty good spots. Going off the tip of a point is usually good. But there's some guys fishing there, so I don't want to bug them. Oh, there's something down there. That's that's interesting. Ooh, that's a good signal right there. That's what we want to see. Oh, that's probably a catfish or something. Okay, where it's light up here, that's uphill. Where it's dark, it's downhill. So we're right on the edge of a slope. Okay, so I've got a lot of signals right up along this edge. So I'm gonna try to slowly troll or drift just uh, right along the edge and see if I can't pick something up. Okay, I keep seeing these signals on my fish finder and I have no clue what, whether they're shad or crappie or bluegill or whatever they are. So I'm going to pull out my cast net and uh, I'm going to find out. Well, um, yeah, so that's what it's like when I don't catch anything. Are you in the water again? You're a ducky? Quack, quack. Well, if we can't catch fish, at least we can, we can get wet, right? <laughs> so the water temperature is 45 degrees. It's uh, President's Day, so it's middle of February. And we didn't catch a single fish, but the boys are having the most fun. In the water. I didn't know what. Yeah, that's you, you, this is where your half Alaskan side's coming out here. Well, I had my reservations about posting this video because it was supposed to be about finding fish and I caught jack crap. So, but uh, my wife said it might be nice for people to see that it doesn't work out every single time. I don't catch a hundred pounds of fish in two hours on every trip. Um, but we should have fun almost every trip too. So the boys are having a good time, but that's winter fishing for you. You know, you've got to get around, you got to get out, try things. You'll fail, you'll get skunked, you'll get skunked, you'll get skunked, and finally you'll figure it out, and then it's pretty awesome. But uh, winter fishing's kind of on or off like that. So if you can't find the fish, just keep looking, keep moving around, you'll find them. Yeah, yeah, come on in, buddy. Okay. Hey, come on, Nathan. Come on, buddy. Uh, do you enjoy playing in the water? Doggy!
Doggy! Oh, that cheered you up. Yeah, you have a good time, Tommy? Cold. <laughs> you have a good time, Mommy. I did. I'm not nearly as cold. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. Also, I wanted to tell everybody that this Saturday, February 25th, me and Tommy are going to be in Louisville, Kentucky for the second annual catfishing conference. Uh, Steve Douglas, uh, Chris Flores with Muddy River Catfishing are all going to be there. Lots and lots of people selling uh, catfishing gear. Pretty much anybody who's anybody in the catfishing uh, industry is going to be there. And uh, I went last year and it was huge. It was the first one ever last year and it was it was a raving success. So I'm really excited. Uh, it's it's going to be massive and it's uh, free. So anybody who wants to come, we got free admission. So me and Tommy are going to be driving eight and a half hours each way to, to get to Kentucky to be there for, for just the Saturday session. It goes Saturday, Sunday, but we're just going to be there on, on the 25th. So hopefully uh, some of you guys can make it. And if you do, uh, swing by and say hi. Uh, we're not going to have a booth. I'm going to be hanging out with Chris Flores and Steve a little bit and just walking around and enjoying it. But I'm sure I'll see you guys around. But at any rate, uh, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, check out some of our other great videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. Check out this awesome zombie apocalypse fishing challenge. You will laugh your head off. And if you want to know how to catch catfish with worms in a lake and some awesome Tommy footage, check out this video. Thanks for watching.